Okay, so right now we've got an email form and it's connected to AWS Lambda, which um, returns a response. So what we need to do is write the code in Lambda that's going to take the details from this content form and uh, send it to an, the appropriate email address that you want to receive it. Now, first things first, before we can do that, what you need to do is give the Lambda function the permissions um, to use Amazon Simple Email Service. So go to your management console, make sure you're logged into the right account in the right area, and then click Lambda. Once you're in your Lambda um, account, then just make sure you go find the right um, uh, function based on the name that you gave it. In our case, it's still scripts email handler dev. You can see here that it's connected to the API gateway. Remember that's what receives, that's the REST API that um, interfaces with the page. So then go to configuration. And then uh, you might be in here, but just go to permissions on this left tab. So configuration, permissions, and then you're going to see this execution role that's been created. And just so all you need to do is just click that and it's going to take us to IAM, which is Amazon's permission service. And we're going to use this to give it permission to interact with Amazon Simple Email Service to send emails, basically. All right, we see here, if you look down at permission policies, that it has the Lambda execution policy by default. That's because it needs that to be able to uh, use Lambda. Um, now what we want to do is go create inline policy. Now, if you have a policy that you specifically want to use um, in JSON, you can obviously paste that there. In our case, we're going to use the visual editor and you can just go choose the service, just search for SES. There we go, SES. Now you could do all, but we don't need all. We only need some right permissions. Um, click this left arrow here. You get all the options related to write, and we just want to go send email, send raw email, and send templated email. That should be more enough to handle uh, sending uh, emails from this contact form. Okay, and then for resources, we can just go all. Cool, now review policy. And we just need to give it a name. So I'm gonna call this uh, email email permission actually let's go send email permission so yep you, you click create policy and now here it is so it's been added to this lambda function which means now um, Lambda has the permission to send emails using uh, SES. So what we need to do also is just go to SES. So there you go, Amazon Simple Email Service. Again, make sure you're in the right area, in the right account. And now what we need to do is go to Verified Identities here. And I've already got an email address that I'm going to be using, but you might not have that, so you got to go to create identity, select email address, and then enter the email address. So this is the email address that you have that you want, or your bit, or the client has that that needs to receive the details from the contact form. Just click create identity when you put in the right. Uh, email address and that email address is going to receive a, a verification email just to make sure that it can be verified. Once that's verified it can be used um, uh, in the Lambda function. So I'm not going to do that because I already got mine but yeah click create identity. I'm going to go cancel and once you've verified it it will show up as verified like this. That's mine. That's what I'm going to be using in this Lambda function. So great, so now you've got the permission and you've got the appropriate email address. So now all that needs to be done is writing the code for this Lambda function.
Okay, so now what we've got is a contact form set up and it's connected with a Lambda function uh, which is connected to the API gateway and this Lambda function has been set up with the appropriate permissions to use uh, SES, the simple email service. So now all we need to do is write the code uh, for this function to uh, send the email. So if you open up your index.js file which has the function um, in amplified backend function, the name of the function src index.js, there it is. You can see here I've just got just a placeholder return in the body. Um, or returning, you know, st status code of 200 with course headers. And um, so now what we're going to do is um, set this up. So I'm just going to change the message to just be a, just a basic string saying success. Then what we need to do is set up, set up a try catch block. So put this response uh, in there and set up um, a catch block. And instead of returning success, and return json.stringify error. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to import the AWS SDK. Uh, this is available uh, in Lambda, uh, in Node.js, just by doing uh, const AWS equals require AWS SDK. And now we want to update the config to have the appropriate region. Um, if you're not sure, you can just check the region that you're using, uh, find the code there. And now what we need to do is initialize a new SES uh, object by going new AWS.SES, passing in the region as well. And now what we need to do is we, we need to get uh, from the event, we need to get the body and get the uh, data that's been passed to it. So uh, json.pass event.body and then we get the name, the email and the message which is again from the form that I'm using name, email and message. Now what we need to do is um, set up a params object or call it whatever you want uh, which is going to be passed to the ses.send email function so this is all the, all the um, data and configuration basically related to the email that's going to be sent. So destination. So we can say two addresses, which is an array, and pass in the address that you've um, that you've verified in SES um, that's going to receive the email from this contact form. Now, uh, underneath the destination, we want to give it the message. The message has a body, and the body has uh, text or, or HTML, but in our case I'm going to be using text. And so this is basically the um, text in the email. So pass in an object data, um, and then I've just got uh, the message, and it's going to say from name email. So it's just going to show me the, their name, their email, and their, their message, and then you can just do that to um, give it some spacing between the message and the from line. Okay. Now this is the subject. This is obviously just the email subject. I've just got the subject passing in uh, contact message from and then their name. And the source is um, the verified email that you're using to send. So in my case, I'm I'm sending it from this address and I'm sending it to this address. So these just need to be verified identities. Uh, and then the reply to addresses is an array that, that um, you get. And in this case, this is if I want to reply directly to the person, um, this is just the email address that the person has passed into the form there, which again, we're getting from the body. And then now what we need to do is um, await. So you can have a variable here, email result equals await. And then we say SES. So this is using your uh, the SES object up here. We say SES dot send email. And if you're following along um, in IAM, we've already given permission to use the send email method. 
and then passing in the params, which is this object up here. And then we say dot promise. It's returning a promise. And then what we can do is in the body, we can just say json.stringify this email result. And that's all we need. So we're we going to get back a stringified error or a stringified version of this email result. And so now what you need to do is go back to your terminal, make sure you're in again in the right directory and just go amplify push. So because this um, function has been updated, uh, amplify is automatically going to detect that. And then we're going to basically approve um, uh, pr approve merging it to the back end. Okay, all the changes have been updated, so now we can test the function. Alrighty, now the Lambda function is ready and we're ready to test the form, but the first thing we got to just do is um, just go to the code where the contact form is and uh, this method um, post data. Uh, right now the body's still empty, so we need to make sure because in the, um, the Lambda function, event.body, uh, it's receiving the name, the email, and the message. So we just need to pass it that. Now this is stored in this form input variable here. So we can see there. So we can just replace the body brackets with form input. Save that. And Great, now this should send an email to my email address. If I test it. Just refresh the page just to make sure it's all updated. Okay, and we can um, also open up the console. That way we can see what's happening. Let's just go. I'm just giving it test values and okay, I still have that alert message. Uh, this is just a warning error. And there we go, we can see this response has been returned with a message ID. And so what that means is that this email um, should be sent uh, to my email address. So there we go. And this is the recent one. Hey, this is a test from there. And I could click reply. And it's going to reply to dan at gmail, which is the, the test email, uh, the test example that I gave. So yeah, so this works. Obviously, it's very simple and basic, but you can um, you know, fully customize it in, in here um, to say whatever you want to say. And probs are good at, uh, probably a good idea to then, um, after this form is submitted, take them to a success page or display some sort of message. Uh, to let them know how to do that. I'm going to set that up later. And um, yeah, obviously I can we can get rid of that now. It's not needed anymore. But yeah, so this is, as you can see, it's not that difficult. You just need to use um, Amplify, uh, connect it with Lambda, uh, write the appropriate uh, code to use SES, and then just make sure the Lambda function has permissions and that the email address you're sending to is a verified identity in SES. And boom, just like that, you can use AWS. And I'm also going to be using AWS and, and Amplify uh, to host my website. And so I'm going to be showing that um, later on how to do that. So thanks.